What is going on guys? Welcome back. Abel here with STL Tones. Today we're going to be taking a look at our May update for the Amp Hub plugin platform. You guys are getting a brand new amplifier. This one is based on a victory amplifier known as the Kraken. I'm really, really stoked for this amplifier. This is one I've never been able to play, so the fact that they're updating it in the plugin is really, really exciting. Uh, signal chain for this is going to be this Solar S1.6. We're going to be going into a universal audio aero interface, going into Cubase. Of course, we're going to be running Amp Hub. So without further ado, let's get in and check these tones out. All right, so hopping on the interface, you see that we have a gain one, uh, and then we have a second channel with a gain number two. We've got bass, middle, treble, and then we have a master for the first channel and a master for that second channel. You also have a bass focus. We'll be toggling that on and off uh, so you guys get a good idea of what that sounds like and how that affects the tone. But uh, let's just start off with this one in the bridge position pickup, and we'll see what it sounds like. By the way, I did see some comments regarding the fact that I'm always running this in the active setting with the Fishmints, so this is going to be in the passive setting of the pickups, just an FYI. Okay. All right, sounds really good. Let's crank up the gain on this, see what that sounds like. Split this coil, see what it sounds like. Oh, it sounds sick. Sounds pretty awesome. And as you can see, I've already kind of manipulated the EQ a little bit, but let me even these out for you guys. And we can see what that sounds like. That split coil tone sounds really, really good. I added bottom end for no reason because it's got plenty of it with that EQ just straight up in the air, but uh, it ends up sounding pretty, pretty good. Let's add some subtle effect here. Nothing too crazy. Uh, just a little bit of reverb from the space verb, and then I'm going to add a slight delay, and that's what this sounds like. That sound good or what? Uh, just in case you guys are interested, which some of you are, I'm running a 4x12 Cali Rec with V30s with a V57 on the left. On the right, I'm running the same cab with a 421. Uh, just, but we are gonna change the cab a little bit later so you guys can see that new cab that's been added um, to your cabinet section. All right, so now let's switch it over to gain number two. That second channel, let's see what this sounds like. <laughs> So from what I've been told, that first gain channel is more of a British high gain type of an amplifier. Uh, think JCM 800. And then that second channel with gain number two is more of an American voice modern metal uh, type of tone. So.
That's actually pretty awesome. We're chugging right away without adding a pedal in front, but I think you guys know what's coming next. So, uh, you know what, really quick, let's focus on this bass focus, no pun intended, don't know why I said it that way, but let's see what that sounds like and how that affects the tone. So I wanna clean this up a little bit. Let's hit gain number one and let's listen to it. Oh yeah, you hear it right away. Really tames that bottom end, even though I have the bass cranked up a little bit. Let's check that out in gain number two. It tightens that right up. But I do personally like that bottom end. All right, so we're already in game number two, which is the American voiced channel. Let's throw on a pedal. I think you guys already know which one my favorite is, and that's this Maxon drive, this 808. Let's run it the conventional way, and let's listen to it. <laughs> Dude, that is a beast and a half of a channel. That sounds so good. All right, let's back this pedal off a little bit. Can't do metal all the time. Let's throw on these effects that I had on before. And I want that bottom end to be nice and clear. And let's split this coil. <laughs>
All right, let's try to hot rod this channel a little bit. Let me throw these effects off. Let's grab a pedal and let's see what it does. That's really cool. That's a lot more of a classic rock type of a tone. You still get some pretty clear palm muting out of it. It's still very distorted and saturated, but it's pretty clear. I love the way this sounds. That sounds really good. All right, so now that we've kind of run through the amplifier a little bit, I wanna show you guys the new cab that you guys are getting, which is also a Vicarious. So let's check that one out. Obviously this one's gonna be based on a Victory cabinet, uh, just like the amplifier. So let's go ahead and down here and grab it. This one here, I'm gonna stick with the same microphones. We're gonna do this 57 on this side and let's see if we've got this um, 421 over here. We do, so let's stick with that. And just like that, with that IR, you have instant British <laughs> high gain tone. Cab sounds sick, man. This IR sounds really good. And I don't normally angle my microphones, but the way this microphone is angled is making that side of it uh, sound amazing. Sounds sick. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for me. That is the May update for your Amp Hub plugin. Of course, if you guys are watching this, that means it's now available uh, for download over at stltones.com. So head over there and download your update. If you guys enjoyed the video, please hit that like and subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you see all the new products and videos that STL Tones is rolling out. My name is Abel Hernandez, and I will catch you guys on the next video.